So I come across a comment on Facebook, a bloke was asking, um, he said he wears mountain bike shoes on his road bike um, because he finds them more comfortable and they breathe easier. He has a foot condition and um, said he finds road cycling shoes to be, um, to harm his condition. So he's, they're not comfortable for him. And um, he said, what are my options? So I commented back and I just said, just keep wearing the mountain bike shoes. And he said, ah, but um, is there any problems with that? And I said, I think the only problem with that is what some other road cyclists might think. And um, my comment got a lot of likes and a lot of responses. And it seems that a lot of people actually prefer mountain bike pedals and shoes on their road bike. Um, so this is where I started getting, we started chatting about a few things and we started getting into the marketing hype in cycling. So um, it, it's massive, it's huge. And you just, you've got to be careful you don't get duped by all the bullshit out there. There's... There's heaps of things like uh, road shoes. I mean, the only advantage they have, in my opinion, is usually they're stiffer. You can get a stiff mountain bike shoe, but usually they're stiffer and you and the cleat is a bit larger on the bottom, so you get more of a platform to push down on. But uh, if you're not a pro, then I don't think it really matters. Um, and a lot of these people that are great cyclists agreed with me. Um, a lot of them wear mountain bike shoes. So... Wear whatever's comfortable for you, and don't get duped by the whole, you gotta wear this, you gotta wear that, Lance Armstrong had this, so I gotta get that, or whatever. So, there's a lot of it in cycling, it's massive. Um, as you've probably seen in my other videos, I wear a mountain bike helmet on my road bike. I'm not buying two helmets, I might one day, just for the sake of it, but I'm not buying two helmets to ride two different bikes. I use the same shoes on both bikes, and I use a lot of the same other stuff on both bikes. I wear mountain bike jerseys when on the road bike and vice versa. So do whatever's comfortable for you and just try and avoid the hype. You don't need a lot of the bullshit that's out there. You don't need carbon wheels if you're not a great cyclist or if it's not going to make much of a difference to you. Um, get something that will help you like a Garmin, a GPS or a power meter. Something that it's actually going to help you with your training and make you a better cyclist so that one day those carbon wheels will make a difference for your cycling. So, um, it's yeah, it's just my opinion. Some people prefer to go all out, whatever. But for me, um, I'm not like most. Like I said, I, I wear mountain bike shit all over the place when I'm road cycling. I wear a camelback some of the time. So, um, yeah, just do whatever's comfortable for you. Don't buy into the hype. Um, it's a lot of marketing and a lot of a lot of sponsor messages and a lot of a lot of crap like that that makes people think, oh, I've got to get that to be a good cyclist, whatever. And just remember, cycling is all about the engine. It's all about you. People think, oh, I can get a really light bike, light wheels, this, that, the other, and I'm going to be a machine. But the truth of the matter is you'll probably get beaten by someone who is a reasonably good cyclist on a steel bike that weighs 16 kilos with no carbon bits, with shitty gearing, you'd probably still get beaten. You'd probably still get beaten by a pro on a BMX, up a climb or wherever. So unless you're a good cyclist, those things don't really help. Um, best thing is just get out there, do it, have fun, train, get better, and then start getting those things when you think you need them. I don't need carbon wheels or anything at the moment at all. Um, I'm not a pro. I'm not the best cyclist at all. I'll just get out there. I enjoy it. I give people tips because I've learned and spent a lot of money along the way and I've learned from that. So for me to be able to share that with you is, is great. And um, that's why I'm here. So please subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.